last, free at last. I swear that I am free at last. So the other day I was plowing, and God reminded me something that had happened a year ago. As we were plowing Storo Drive, there was an impatient driver behind all the plow trucks. And he was just trying to get ahead of us, trying to go. And um, he was finally able to cut us off, and he just took off. So as we made our way up the street slowly, clearing the path for everyone else, I noticed that there was a car up ahead, and it was crashed, right? And as closer I got, I realized that it was a guy that had cut us off. You see, God gently reminded me that that's what we do to him. In Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, Great are the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. You see, we were clearing the roads for everyone to be safe. For the path to just be clear from the snow, from the crap that was on the floor. And sometimes we get so stubborn, we get so eager, we get so impatient that we just want to go. We don't want to wait for anyone. We don't want to wait for God. We want to take our lives into our own hands. You know, we're the boss. We just can run everything. And that's not always how it goes. We don't really know what's coming up ahead. But see, God does. In 1 Corinthians 2.9 it says, But on the contrary, as the scripture says, what eye has not seen, and ear has not heard, and has not entered into the heart of man, God has prepared for those who love him. Sometimes we think we know what is best for us. Sometimes we plan something that we think is just so great, but God has something that is even greater. It says, what eyes have not seen, what ears have not heard, God has for those who love him. And that's the key phrase, for those who love him, and to love is obey. So have a relationship with God and allow Him to tell you what He has planned for you. Plans of greatness to prosper you, to keep you full of hope in a beautiful future. Have a great morning. I'm free at last, free at last. I swear that I am free at last, free at last. My sin and man is in the...